Okay, you guys, we're going to show you how to, or I'm going to show you how to uh, use an adjustment layer to make the background uh, a different color and actually change the brightness and lightness of it. So I have a photo here, and we're also going to crop this photo too. So I'll go over all the different steps here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the background. That way I'm not going to mess with that photo. If I need to, I have this layer I can go back to. And I'll probably unclick that like that so I'm not seeing that one. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to select the subject. So we're going to go up here to select. We're going to, oh, make sure you're selected on this top layer right here, background copy. And then you're going to go up to select and go to subject. So that does a pretty good job of finding the subject there. So then the next thing we're going to do is with that selected there, we're going to go over to the quick selection tool, select that, and right click and go to select inverse. The other way you could do this is if you're up here, you could go like that but up under select, but this is the way I did it. Now that we have this, we can go down here to the adjustment layers and you can go to hue saturation, hue saturation. So we go like that. And what it did is it selected just the background of this person, but not the person, okay? And so what we can do is we can change this background we're going to change the saturation. Now, we could go all the way, but I think what's going to be cool is if we have just a little bit of color and if we change the lightness to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, if you want to change that hue around, you can, but I'm just going to keep it in the middle. If you want to experiment with that, you can. You could also go. Let me put that back to zero. You could also change that lightness to make it darker, but I kind of like it a lighter amount. How much? It kind of depends on what you want to do, but I think the background is pretty cool like that. So the other thing we're going to do then is we're going to crop this photo a little bit. Now, not all photos need this, and I don't know that this photo necessarily needs it, but to me, uh, it's a lot of empty space up here. And so I'm just going to go to the crop tool. And I'm going to bring this down to say something like that. To me, it just looks better. I do like having some of the tree up there in that mountain range or the background. So I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. This is going to be your finished uh, picture uh, that you're going to have. So you can, um, at this point, save it. So we're going to go to File. Oh wait, in Photoshop. File, save a copy, because this is gonna be online. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. And then we're gonna, if you want to, you could put down there whatever name you want to, to find it, but I'm gonna say adjustment layer. And I'm gonna say lighter, okay. I'm going to put this in my downloads, JPEG, save, save, okay. And that's going to be a cool thing that you can do with your photos. Kind of take down that saturation and make the actual background lighter so that person will stand out more.